Okay, so we're going to start off with the quadratic formula. And all I want you to do is just watch this video and get an idea of how it's set up, okay? So it's written, this is called standard form, okay? And uh, normally we make it equal to zero in this form if we want to do something special with it. But in this case, um, you'll notice I have ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? And when I write it out, if I, uh, normally it wouldn't have those letters a, b, and c, but you have to know wh where they come from, okay? So for instance, in this case, I have a in this equation, but a equals 1, because th there's a 1 in front of that x squared. I have a b, b also equals 1, because there's a 1 in front of that x, and I have a c, and c equals 1, because there's a c at the end there, okay? So if you look to where the quadratic formula is, you can see that we have a is 1, b is 1, c is 1, okay? If that doesn't make any sense, then this might help more, okay? Let's say we have something like this. So there's my a, there's my b, there's my c, okay? So then in this case, what do you think a is going to be equal to? Okay, if you said 3, that's correct. Now look at b. b is equal to 2, and c is equal to negative 6, okay? Now keep in mind this is only true either if it's only written like this or it has to be equal to 0. If it's not equal to 0, then it's not in standard form.